all right so welcome back to the channel and um this is going to be part four of the full site building framework so for this part we'll talk about the linking of things of course so we have some links in the nav where would they go to or how would they be linked to different sections right on how to link to pages as well although in this project we have just one page which is the home page but we're going to create a dummy page or a duplicate of the home page so we can demonstrate how to link things up right but for this video i'll show you how to link buttons to sections and how to link buttons to other pages and how to link buttons to external sites so that's not a problem this is going to be like very easy to follow along because it's not very complicated so as you can see in this page right i have different sections i have project section i have a brief about me section and i have this um futsal slash contact section so i want to target these sections when i click some of these links here right so one thing i can do is create what they call um scroll section scroll section right so i'll just quickly demonstrate right now so um go to the layers panel open up this desktop right then open up main container so as you can see i have four sections here hero section project section about section and contact section right so i want to create um scroll sections for work that's project about that's the about section over here and then contact that's contact section so that when i click on these links the site is going to scroll to that particular section right so let me show you how to do just that select the project like this so this is the section being selected as you can see it's what i'm selecting right now so i'm going to come down here and i'm going to click on scroll section so this is what you just need i'll make it i'll name it to let's just do project right so now i've made a section for that sorry yeah this is project now i've made the project um scroll section so as you can see this is how you know that this is a scroll section this hash in the front but before that let's create the other scroll section so i'll select the about section and i'll do the same thing let's call this about like this I've created the screw section for the about and let's do the same thing for contact so we'd come down here screw section let's call this con contact beautiful now we have screw sections for the three different links right now we want to go to the nav so this is a component so we have to go to the component to edit these links so i'll double click like this um now if i select this link you can see that these are just text random text so we can create quick links from these right so while this is selected come over here click on this see this property over here this link property is very easy to understand so here this is where you paste the target or where you want the link to go to right so we select this like this so now um to show you the pages that you have in your site so right now i have just the home page now I'll select the home page because i want this link to go to the project section in the home page so i select the home page and as you can see this tab comes here this drop down what section do you want to go to in this home page now I'll select this like this and now I'll click on project beautiful now do you want this to be a new tab like do you want the the um, sites to open a new tab for this particular link I don't want that to happen now do you want the scroll to be smooth like do you want it to like scroll to that particular section and you're seeing it in real time or do you want it to just happen instantaneously so when you click on it you just see yourself in that section i want it to be smooth right and then this is the link style this is where you get to edit what the link looks like um the hover effect the the active effect i'll just quickly show you so right now they made a default link for us but we want to edit this because it's most likely not what we want so now this is what it looks like this is the default color right so this is the default link this is the default um properties so we want it to be white perfect now we don't want to underline in the default dates so we'll remove this so as you can see there is this weird green line under here i don't know if you can see this but it's there so i'll just take that off like this 
and every other thing seems fine. So we'll come down to hover. So like what color do we want to see on hover? Let's leave it as blue. It's not the perfect color, but just for demonstration. So leave it as blue. And then current is just when that particular link is in the specified page, it will show that, okay, this particular link, is this is where you are now. That's what current means. So if I have a work page, for instance, and I can set this current to maybe yellow. Now, when I'm in that work page, this particular link would show yellow because that's the active, that's the current page, if that makes sense. So I don't think we need that because we're still going to work on one page, right? So we'll, not, we'll just remove this. We don't need the current um, animation or the current, the current stage, right? We just need default and hover because we're working on just the home page. Right, so this is what the link looks like. So I've edited the link style, perfect. Now let's do for about the same thing. Select the about, this is just a random text, but you can make it a link. So select this, select the home page, then section, select and click on about. New tab, no, scroll, smooth, perfect. Now that link you created, it created a style for you. So it's the same thing that applies to this particular about link. So you don't have to go on set all of that hover state and default state. If you want a new style, you can click on new style, but this is now a style that you can apply to any text to create a link, if that makes sense. So that's that for that. And then for contact, we'll pretty much do the same thing. Contact and new tab, no, scroll, smooth. The link is already applied. Now, if I preview this over here, you'd see that the link works. So as you can see, it's turning blue. But then there's this weird green line under it. We don't want that, so we're going to remove that. So we'll go back here, select one of them, select the style, edit the style. Um, so right now there's this decoration underline. Let's just say we, let's just add the, the underline, you know, hover. But let's change the color from this green to probably white still, right? You can go on and change thickness of the underline, the line. You can change the offset, that's the space between the line and the text. So you can skip link. A lot of properties are here that you can do, but I'm just going to ignore all of this for now. You can play with it in your free time. So as you can see, if I hover now, the line is white, and then it affects all of this because it's that same link style that's applied to the other links. Beautiful. Now, everything works fine. Let's quickly preview it in the home page, whether it works, right? Whether the section that we have set is going to scroll, it's going to work. So we're going to preview like this. And now we're going to click on this. Let's just click on about. Beautiful, as you can see, it works just fine. Contacts. The reason why contact is not like it's coming to the top is because this is the size of the section. There is really no much you can do, right? But the idea is it's trying to get there. So if I select work, beautiful, about, it works just fine. Um, contacts, nice. So that's how you can create links. Very simple, nothing too complicated. Now, if you have another page, let's just quickly duplicate this. Call this, uh, let's just name it anything, Jerry. Come over here. Let's say I want to link this work to that page. All I have to do is just select it. Um, link to, select and see the link here. Just select it and that's pretty much it no stress nothing or nothing else you can choose to make it a new tab or not but this is not advisable unless it's maybe a social link or a sign up link or something like that so leave it like this and it's going to work just fine so if i preview this you'll see that it goes <laughs> it has already gone to the page but because it's the same thing you would not notice let me quick let me change something about this page so that you can see. Um, let's make this red. Let's go back to the home page and then preview and click on the link. So as you can see, it works very well. One more thing, let's make this name here go to the home page. So it's pretty much the same thing. You'd select the name like this, link to home section none because we want this to just go to the home page right and that's it so anything you do now anywhere you are if you select this it's going to go back to the home page that works now that's that for creating 
you know, normal text as links, right? Or turning normal text into links. Now let's talk about components. You design the button component, right? And you want to add a link to it. And you want to make that link a variable so you can change the link across all the instances. Let me give you an example. So now this is a button component here. If you followed my first video, I made this into a component so that I can reuse it across the site. So as you can see, this is it, this is it over here. This is it as well. Now let's see, I want this particular component to link maybe to my email. And I want this one now to link to this contact me section over here. Right now, I can't do it because I have not made a variable for the link. Let me give you an example. So right now, if I make this link now, if I make it go to probably this page, let's just do an example. I make it to go to this page. Every instance of this particular component will go to that page. And that's not what we want most of the times. We want the links to go different, go to different places, right? Now, one thing we can do is create what I call variable. So if I select this link like this, or this component as a whole, I can click on this link to, as you can see, there's a plus here, which means I can make this into a variable. So I'll click on this, create variable, and I've created a variable for it. So what this means now is I can change the destination of all the different instances of this component. If I go back to the home page, you'd see that if I select this now, on the right property panel under here, you can see button now this is the link variable so now i can make this go to um this page beautiful i can scroll down select this particular one i can make it go to let's do the home page but let's do the contact section right so i can now change the links of the different instances because of that variable property right beautiful now let me give another example now let's say i want this to see contact me beautiful i now want this one to say reach out to me right now i can't do it because there's no variable property for the text the content right so i would go to the main component so one thing double clicking on any instance can take you to the main component so this is the main component right here in the components page now um one thing i want to do now is i want to change or make the text here this text here a variable so that when i change I can change the content across the instances. So for example, right now, let me remove this, let me remove this me at the front. You'll see that all the instances will change to just contact. So as you can see, this is contact, 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 contact. We don't always want this. We want to be able to change the text, you know, across the individual instances. So we'll go back to the main component. So to be able to make this a variable, this text, select the text. Over here where you have content, you select this content, see this plus here, shows you can make it a variable, then create a variable, plain text. So remember, we made a variable for link. So now we have the link variable and we have a title variable. So right now, if I go back to the home page, I can leave this as contact, right? So this one, unless I want to change it to um, reach out, I can do that. So as you can see, this is reach out, this is contact, this is contact. So let's change this one to maybe um, contact me. Now I'm able to change the text in the individual instances. So that is just a brief summary into, you know, links and, you know, components. If you want a full in-depth tutorial on how to create a standard component, how to create variables, how to, you know, adjust instances, and all of that stuff, how to create hover effects, you know, pressed states, um, active states, all of that animated, all of that good stuff. Please let me know in the comment section. I'll be sure to make a video on that. And that wraps this whole part, this whole series up. I've gone from building this site to making it responsive, to creating sections, to creating components, to adding links, to adding animations as well and effects. So if you want to see more on Frema, let me know in the comment section. My next video would probably be on CMS. So if you want to see that, if you want to learn more about Frema CMS or about components or anything at all in Frema, let me know in the comment section. Hit the follow button and be subscribed. And don't forget to like as well. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.